Buzzy open source startup Mistral's latest funding round is confirmed, their API is launched, and the performance of their latest model has tongues wagging. Welcome back to the AI Breakdown. Mistral first jumped into the headlines back in June when the company, which was at the time only four weeks old, announced that they had raised a $113 million seed round. Yes, a nine-figure seed round, which many at the time took as indication of just how overhyped and crazy the AI world was. However, subsequent to that, the company's first model that they released, their Mistral 7B model, started to become a favorite among open source developers. Indeed, whereas Meta's Llama had commanded so much of the energy and attention throughout the year, Mistral really became another genuine open source competitor of the big AI labs at companies like Gemini and Tropic OpenAI. Now, as we head into the end of the year, there has been a lot of speculation around what the open source side of the AI arms race will look like going into 2024. Aravind Srinivas, the CEO of Perplexity, writes, Next year, we will see at least two of Meta, Mistral, and Anthropic catch up to Gemini and GPT-4. Going to be exciting times. Well, today we got a bunch of announcements from Mistral that suggest that Aravind may be even more right than he seemed. Now, first of all was the confirmation of the funding round, which was first reported last week. The final tally was 385 million euros, or $415 million, and the valuation, which again had been reported last week, was $2 billion. The round was led by Andreessen Horowitz and other investors, including Lightspeed, Salesforce, BNB Paribas, General Catalyst, and more also participated. Now, given that a big topic of our conversation during today's brief was the EUAI Act, it's interesting to note the extent to which Mistral is using European pride as a selling point for this company, said co founder and CEO Arthur Mensch. Since the creation of Mistral AI in May, we have been pursuing a clear trajectory, that of creating a European champion with a global vocation in generative artificial intelligence, based on an open, responsible, and decentralized approach to technology. Now, in terms of how Mistral thinks about European regulations, they are one of the companies that has been lobbying for a total exemption for foundation models, with their argument being, as TechCrunch sums up, quote, that regulation should apply to the use cases and companies working on products that are used by end users directly. Now, part of what makes Mistral interesting is that their 7B model was released under the Apache 2.0 license, which means no restrictions on use or reproduction outside of attribution. Now, for those wondering how Mistral plans to make money, today also came with the announcement of a new API program. Through that, developers will be able to access their new Mistral 8X 7B model, which they call Mistral Small, and that will be for free again under the Apache 2.0 license. But a third model, Mistral Medium, is only available through the paid API platform. Devendra Traplow from the company writes, Excited to release Mistral Platform, three chat endpoints with competitive pricing. Mistral Tiny, Mistral 7B Instruct version 0.2, upgraded base model with higher context length, 8K to 32K, and better fine-tuning. Mistral Small, Mistral 8X 7B Instruct version 0.1, matches or exceeds GPT 3.5 performance multilingual. Mistral Medium outperforms GPT 3.5 on all metrics multilingual. All endpoints have a 32K context size. Author Carlos Perez writes, Mistral Medium blows away GPT 3.5. What's Mistral Medium? Hyperwrite CEO Matt Schumer says, Looks like Mistral has a model that's even better than Mistral 8x7b, and they're serving it to alpha users of their API. Scoring 8.6 on MT Bench, that's frighteningly close to GPT 4 and beats all other models tested. This is their medium size. Large will likely beat GPT 4. Carlos Perez again writes, Mistral has released their report on Mistral. It's very impressive. It challenges Llama 70B and GPT 3.5 on less hardware and at lower inference latency. Furthermore, it uses only 12 billion active parameters to achieve this. So how does this all work? Well, if you guys are willing, let's wade into the realm of the technical for just a moment. And for this, I'm just sharing other explanations from folks who are attempting to provide a little bit of a layman's explanation of how Mistral is approaching things, even if, as you'll see, it's still a little bit dense. Dimitro Zulgakov writes, Mistral model is hot, with mixture of experts like GPT-4. It promises faster speed and lower cost than model of the same size and quality. Fascinatingly, the speed up is unevenly distributed. Running on a laptop or the biggest GPU server benefits the most. Here's why. The new Mistral 8x7b model has around 47 billion parameters. Each token uses only a subset of those, approximately 25%, two experts out of eight. But when running multiple requests in the same batch, different requests will activate different experts. For a small batch, speed is determined by how quickly the GPU can read weights from memory. For a single request, reading two out of eight experts is four times faster. Add a small concurrent load and most of the speed up evaporates. All experts have to be loaded. 
If one can fit a big batch with many requests in a GPU, the situation changes. Speed now mostly depends on how many multiplications, flops, are done. Mixtral MOE still does only 25% of those, and we can expect speed to approach 4x. But running a big batch comes with its own challenges. The model needs to be aggressively split into many GPUs. Mixture of Experts brings more options here like expert-level parallelism. GPT-4 is rumored to use Mixture of Experts too. It serves a lot of traffic and thus benefits from this regime. Bindu Reddy also wrote an explainer writing, Transformer Mixture of Expert Architectures, Why They Are More Efficient. Mistral 8x7b MOE model is a solid 70b GPT 3.5 class model. Instead of having every part of the model work on every task, a mixture of expert model splits up the work among many specialized submodels or experts. Each expert is good at handling specific types of tasks or data. When an MOE receives a request, it routes the request to the right expert. The good news is it is more efficient when you have a diverse number of requests as you don't hit on all the experts at the same time. In the case of Mistral for each token, only two experts are used, and this could potentially mean a 4x speedup compared to something like Llama 2. GPT-4 is rumored to be an MOE model as well. It's likely to have a greater number of larger size experts. When it comes to training MOEs, there are complexities around dealing with training the gating network or router and load balancing, avoiding over-reliance on a few experts. Since MOEs are more parameter efficient, you don't require quite so many computational resources. It will be really interesting to see how much the open source community will improve Mistral MOE in the coming weeks. Already, I am seeing several fine tunes, but nothing very compelling in terms of metrics yet. Anyways, there is probably a much deeper show that could get into all of this if that's something that interests you. But for now, the other piece of the story that I want to talk about is how they launched this. Again, from Bindu, the right way to drop a model, she writes. Mistral AI just dropped a Mistral 8x7b model as a torrent link. Christmas came early for open source AI. Eric Jang writes, Mistral's brand is already becoming one of my favorites in the AI space. Releases 87 gigabyte torrent containing an 8x7b MOE model via tweet and refuses to elaborate. That was a couple days ago before this whole announcement came out. Nick Dobos pointed out the contrast to what we got from Google around Gemini last week. Mistral launching a torrent link versus Google Gemini ultra blog post waitlist. Mistral actually understands the market it's building for, power users and hacker. Google keeps trying these disappointing consumer demos to convince the uninterested. Don't understand, doomed to fail. Now, the other thing that some people are discussing is how much Mistral is sucking the oxygen out of the room for other open source competitors like Meta in particular. Farel writes, Meta is losing mindshare. Hopefully they release Llama 3 via Apache 2. Accelerate Harder writes, If Meta really wants to make an impact on the open source world, they would choose a fully open source license and they'd do it soon, before Mistral steals their thunder completely. Now, bringing this conversation back to the very beginning of today's brief, the way that the Flowers from the Future account kicked off was actually with rumors about Llama 3. On October 23rd, that account wrote, Llama 3 will come in different sizes, but the most capable one will be around 120B. Oh yes, and it will come February 24. It will be multimodal on par with GPT-4. Still others don't want to wait for February. Boyan Tungu says, all I want for Christmas is Llama 3 175B. Now, lastly on this Mistral announcement, a number of people, including one little coder, noted that in their announcement post, they had a space for a link to a safety document that they ended up not actually linking. One little coder writes, is Mistral actually trolling us or maybe they forgot the link? Professor Ethan Mollick writes the significance. For those who don't follow AI closely, one, an open source model free anyone can download or modify beats GPT 3.5. Two, it has no safety guardrails. There are good things about this release, but also regulators, IT security experts, etc. should note the genie is out of the bottle. However, to Mistral's credit, AI Safety Memes writes, quote, it has no safety guardrails. No open source models do since you can just strip them off in two hours. Mistral is just honest about it. Anyways, different people might have different takes on this, but from a technology perspective, what Mistral is putting out is pretty impressive and certainly makes these big investments and big valuations make a little bit more sense. That, however, is going to do it for today's AI Breakdown. I appreciate you listening or watching wherever you are. Until next time, peace.